Well, I've got to bring the bug into the garage and put it up on the lift and take it apart. So let's see what I have bought here. So it didn't have brakes. That was the biggest concern of mine is I wanted to see what was going on with the brakes because my last Volkswagen brake experience didn't turn out well. So pulled all the wheels off, which is an interesting adventure on these. Actually, it's kind of goofy. But first of all, let me show you the tires again. I don't think you got the full scope of the issue in that first video. Check out the nice drywall, uh, dry rot in that. New tires should be here today, actually, coming from Amazon. So, front brakes. The shoes aren't too bad, like half. Um, all the adjusters are frozen. I'm working on unfreezing them right now. But the bonus part is every wheel cylinder on the car is leaking. Like, yeah, that's not PB Blaster. Straight up brake fluid. Hoses are also shot. You can see that. The other side's the same story. Rear brakes. The shoes are lower, but these were actually the brakes doing most of the stopping. Uh, we thought it was opposite. We thought it was the front. That's what the last owner told me. Actually, the rears were doing most of the work. Same thing. Adjusters are hopelessly frozen. These things are leaking like a joke. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I let the magic out. By magic, I mean terrible rusty water instead of brake fluid. So, good news is I ordered all the brakes off Rock Auto for like 90 bucks total. Actually, more than that. I ordered tie rods, too. Because guess what? It needs tie rods. It's hard to get the full scope because the wheel's not on. But, like, this tie rod pulls like an eighth inch out of the cup when you wiggle it. Like, look at the stuff falling out of it. Can't really... Yeah. There's no tire on I can't really show you the full... Oh, there we go. With, with a tire on it, it gets really wild. So this outer shot, both inners are shot. I just ordered both inners and both outers because they were like $5 a piece. So that's all getting changed. All the brake codes are getting changed. Shoes, wheel cylinders, and the hardware. And now I just have to get wild and unseize all these adjusters on all the wheels. Now the big question is the rust. Shocking conclusion, it has rust, which I don't know how much is good for one of these, but it's Pennsylvania, so you can only be so picky with a classic car because they're all kind of rusty junk. Back here has a hole in the muffler, which is whatever. It's leaking oil, which I think is just a natural state of these things. There's some rust here in this wheel well behind the torsion bar. Battery box under it is rusty, which the old owner warned me about. He said this was the worst rust in the car. And I'd say he's pretty accurate with that. Uh, see up here, we got some more rust. There's the other bad rust in the car. The rest of the pans aren't like terrible. Someone got wild here and did some airborne stunts, came down. Some more rot there, some more there, some more up here. Quite a bit here in this thing. But the front is actually like pretty rust free, which I heard is an issue. Apparently like the trunks in these things like rust out really bad. And this one is actually good around the strut towers. I pulled the mat here up and it's not rusty in there. It's not rusty there under the gas tank or behind the gas tank. So that's a good thing. So yeah, that's the current update. I have all the parts on order and I still have to delve into the wiring, but my Volkswagen friends have told me that it's probably a shorted out tail light, like bulb socket in the one housing. It's probably shorting the whole rear out. So that's what I'm looking with. We'll see how this goes.